Hey guys, it's Techgrain here, and welcome back to my video. Today, we got another PC flipping video, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was not expecting to do another PC flipping video till February, because you got to keep in mind that the new 5090 is coming out, I want to build myself a new PC, and also there's a bunch of other stuff right now that doesn't really make sense to build a PC right now in this economy. I actually have a PC currently listed on Facebook right now for like $600, that's the PC we're actually flipping here today, that originally wasn't going to get sold at all, I was thinking, because the economy right now for selling PCs is pretty awful so you can't even sell a pc for like a thousand dollars or six hundred dollars it's really tough right now and let me know if anyone else agrees with me in this in the comments down below let me know if you're flipping pcs if it's hard for you as well i'm pretty confident to say this is just a rough time for pc flipping surprisingly something came up which i was not ready for if you guys didn't know my dad went hunting with his friend and his friend actually mentioned to him that he was looking to get a new pc now he didn't want to spend a whole lot of money like five to six hundred dollars that's what his price point was which is actually perfect because we have pc on hand that we actually want to flip so we're gonna probably sell that pc off to him because of the keep in mind all he wants to do on this pc is play world of warships this video is not sponsored by them but it would have been hilarious if it was actually the case so he wants to be able to game on that and what we got here is the following pc so you guys probably noticed this is the pc we built for 800 however the big difference is here we switched out that 2080 super or 3060 depending on which one you actually went building with we went with the 2080 super and slapped in a gtx 1660 which i have on hand that way we can sell the pc for cheaper while also having some nice high quality components and also still make a profit so this pc was an absolute beast with the 1662 which you can see here with the test benching uh and we got our core it's got 32 gigs by ram ryzen 7 57g 8 core 16 thread 1660 which is great for 1080p gaming 500 gigabytes of uh was it the samsung 970 evo i'm pretty sure that's what it was and then a 700 watt power supply for upgrade this thing is just an absolute beast and playing world of warships on this will of course be absolutely easy to do by far we will do a stress test on this again with some other games just to make sure it works and of course world of warships because we want to make sure because that's the game he primarily wants to use for uh, this pc so before we get the pc to him we need to do a few different things first of all we're gonna have him test the pc himself to see how he likes playing world of warships on it so i've already installed it on this pc because you gotta keep in mind another thing we will need to do is switch out the gpu because this is my current gaming pc that's running a 2080 super so all we need to do is switch out to gtx 1660 and we're good to go there and then of course he's gonna test this to see how he likes playing world of warships and then if he likes playing world of warships on this pc we will give him in this one and if he doesn't we can always upgrade and build him a new pc for 600 to 500 dollars on am5 which honestly going either way would be good for us because one we get another video out of it for a pc build video which would be cool or the second thing we just sell this pc off which then we make more profit because you gotta keep in mind if we build a pc he spends most of the money on the parts and we just get charged for labor which would be only hundred dollars uh, but if we actually sell this pc off that's 600 profit which we can use later here because i plan to actually build myself a new pc using the 5090 plus on top of that the ryzen 7950x which is a 16 core 32 thread cpu most likely we'll want the latter of the scenario that actually happened no fun fact about this pc though technically it has illegal pc parts in it now you might be wondering what do you mean by illegal pc parts well a manufacturer for cpu coolers and aios deep coal is the name of them they were actually producing really good stuff right however they made a mistake with the ukraine and russian war going right now and actually selling their products to russian based companies that were related to the war so yeah they they broke one of the u.s sanctuary act so they got banned in the u.s so technically the aio in here we have which is a 360 d cool lt 7 20 or 72 something like that it's a good cooler just unfortunate what they did yeah i thought that was cool to just mention that okay so we're getting some game testing now the first game of course testing is the world of warships just to kind of see how this game actually runs now keep in mind i have the settings right now set to like what you get off the rip when you load up the game so it's all default medium high settings uh i just know there's some teammates over here on the left and then there's some enemies up front so i guess we'll go target them because that's where we're going to go fight And I just worked hard. Wait, how you fight in this game? You gotta like aim a little bit more over the head where you gotta predict the enemies. Okay, we got a target in front of us. A little bit too high. Okay, we hit that guy. Perfect. Okay, we won. The game was hitting over 100 FPS consistently, so that is a good sign. I expected this to be the crush this game, but I was expecting a little bit more. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought it was gonna be significantly more. So the next game we're testing is the finals with the 1660. Now, keep in mind, this game does have ray tracing, and I don't particularly think it really helps you at all in this game. Like, you want as much FPS as possible 
in the final. Like I say the average you want to have in this game is definitely over 100 FPS. Currently using epic settings. So let's just decrease all of this a medium for the time being because I feel like that's where most people are going to play. It looks still good on medium. We're also hitting that point where I want, which is over 100 FPS because it's primarily what we want to get out of this game. Like, let me ask you guys a question. If you play the finals, what FPS settings do you play on? Like, do you play on medium, high, epic? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I don't know if the finals is still a popular game or not because a lot of these games I used to play or like test with, some of them have become dead games. I don't have really like a great example of this, but there are some that are just like that. I'll sleep off my weapon. Also, I cannot see Jack. Oh, whoa, what is this guy doing? Guy's a snake, bro. Bro is a snake. That's one guy. Oh, I hate this game sometimes, bro. I cannot reload. Oh, no. I got you on the back. Damn. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I would say the finals on medium settings for this game was playable with the 1660. Well, I just found something interesting. Supposedly, they're assessing as an NVIDIA 1040, but you can't really find it on Google. I was trying to see if I can find the 1040 to any benchmarking to kind of compare to see how the 1660 is comparing to it. But there's not enough information to really say there is one. Everyone says it doesn't exist or that it does exist under a different name. There is no 1040, but so I assume it's an extremely old GPU that was only in pre-build. That's my assumption, at least. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the 10 at 50 now to kind of just see how it performs because that's going to be like our best bet to get in the general idea it's not really playable if that's the case here that it's the same thing that's happening that the 1040 that doesn't seem to exist is hitting its actual like limit now so the next game we're testing is going to be brus now now that we know that the 1050 is similar to that the 1040 that doesn't seem to exist uh i'll probably ask for his pc and just take the 1040 out of it for testing purposes because i'm now curious that since this gpu doesn't actually seem to exist i want to test it to see like what it actually is you know what i'm saying if you guys want to see a video testing a 1040 gpu let me know in the comments down below because it doesn't seem to be anywhere on the internet i couldn't find anything on it now keep in mind i did pretty much Decrease all the settings pretty much to one besides two besides draw distance because you at least want to have it for pv ping and on potato that way we can actually like play the game because originally we had it on ultra everything matched out we weren't even hitting like 60 fps so with this we're now hitting over 60 fps well i say this is definitely like playable but it's not like competitive at all if you're just trying to enjoy rust this is pretty much how you would play it but uh it's not the game for this particular gpu i did just want to test it though to see how Russ would run on his actual system. But I don't expect him to actually like play this game. And oh my God, it's a bear. Lovely. Okay, so I finally just dropped off the PC for him. So the grand total for what we profited this video is not as much as I wanted to. Because remember, we wanted to actually flip this PC to, of course, our friends, my dad's friend for 600. But we didn't get the sell for that much because uh, like he didn't want to spend that much. So I was fine with cutting him a deal. So we only sold it for 550, which is still somewhat profit at the end of the day. But honestly, we're more just kind of doing a favor. Yeah, that's all that particularly matters i most likely will upgrade his gpu though just because they rise in 7 uh 57g is an 8 core 16 thread cpu so the 1660 is gonna be great for 1080p gaming but i might just upgrade his gpu later here just because why not you know what i'm saying i was honestly kind of also hoping we might build him a new pc all together but he wanted to go for like if we can just have something now that's what he was fine with he's happy with it that all that particularly matters to me but now we have a total of profit and gains of a thousand and fifty dollars because keep in mind we sold this pc for 550 we also did another pc flip video for the previous episode for episode one we sold pc for 500 so we now have a total of one thousand and fifty dollars i'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do with it just yet i have a few different ideas let me know which one you think you'd like to see i'm thinking what we do is buy a budget pc on on Facebook Marketplace or Jawa, fix a few of the parts, make it better, and then reflip it for more. So I think we spent around like 300 to 400 and then find a PC in that price range. Then we modify it a little bit then flip it for 500. I don't think that would be a bad idea. I think that would actually be like really smart. So we'll most likely do that. And I also have like another PC build for like AM5. So that I'll probably build then just flip that as well. So if you don't want to miss any of that content, definitely get subscribed. But I'll see you for another one. Tech Grant out.